Hi friends. So this is my second video. So right now there is a problem in research that uh, most of the research uh, they perform well but they face difficulties during some calculation part. So today our topic is LC50 calculation which is generally done as per the OECD guideline on the partition part. So today how would we calculate statistically and find out actual LC50 value from the real-time experiment that I would like to discuss. So first of all, we must consider that in LC50 study, we must follow the latest guideline of OECD 2019. So as per the OECD 2019 guideline, we must consider Infrafiche embryo and each concentration must bear 20 Jebrafish embryo. And on time dependent manner, we have to incubate those Jebrafish embryo in different concentration. Probably, we must take at least six different concentration at the ratio of 2.2, and we must incubate those Jebrafish from day one to day five as per the requirement. Of the experiment. So today I would like to discuss how could we calculate the LC. See, first of all, during for that purpose, we must consider the data which will obtain after the experiment. In each and every triplet where we are actually incubating the zebra fish embryo after day one, we must count is the exact number of live embryo. In this way, we must consider the live embryo after day two, after day three, after day four, after day five. So after that calculation, we will get that exact number of fish embryo which is alive. Now please consider a slide where I'll show you what will be slide see for easy calculation purpose consider in embryo but on real time if we go if you, if you see if you follow the oecd guideline we must take 20 embryo and in this experiment also we have taken 20 embryos for easy calculation purpose i just denote in embryo in this slide now these are the concentration which i have taken for my sample that is 100 micro 100 microgram per ml, 200 microgram per ml, 300, 400, 600, and 800. And for each concentration, I have taken 10 embryos. And as you see, after day one, that is after 24 hours, the number of live embryos are 10, 8, 6, 4, 3, 0. So as per that count, the percentage of mortality is 0%, 20%, 40%, 50%, 70%, 100%. and 100%. Now considering the day two, that means after 48 hours, the number of live embryos is at 10, 8, 4, 3, 2, and 0. Where if we consider the percentage of mortality that is 0, 20, 60, 70, 80, and 100 percent. Similarly, after day three, the number of live embryos is at 9, 7, 4, 2, 2, 0. Considering their percentage mortality is again. 30%, 60%, 80%, 80%, and 100%. So in this way, we must calculate the number of live embryo as well as their percentage mortality. So this is our basic task. So after performing this particular thing, we must consider a statistical part. Now I'll show you how we could statistically calculate the exact LC50 value from this calculation. Now considering sample A1 after 24 hours so the concentration was 100 which I have taken 200 300 400 600 and 800 microgram per ml. so the percentage of mortality is 0 20 40 50 70 and 100 so we must uh, create another table where the concentration must show in this way now through excel file you can easily convert this concentration into 
of concentration. That means law of concentration to the base thing. So call, converting this concentration that is 100, 200, 300, 400, 600, and 800, you can easily convert it into log concentration. So automatically, the log values are initially 2, again 2.30, then 2.47, then 2.60, then 2.77, and 2.90. Now, considering the percentage mortality, which is the most crucial part of this experiment, this is 0, 20, 40, 50, 70, and 100. Now, we have to convert this concentration into probit value. So how could we convert this thing? So if you Google a probit table, automatically you will get this table. So I have already Googled it and copied it in my slide. So as you can see, when you are taking to, so we can easily convert this value into probit value. For example, when you are taking 50, as you can see 50, so the pro, probit value should be 5. Considering 70, if you see the 70, the probit value is 5.52. So in this way, we must all the profit value in here. Next is the most important part. So in your Excel file, uh, you will see that there is a uh, here you will see a data part. So you just click on the data and then click on the data analysis. So whenever you are clicking on the data analysis, there should be an appearance of another table. So uh, this way, see in here already after clicking on data analysis, I get this thing. Next, you just create on this regression part. So after clicking on the regression part, press on OK. So you will get another table. So considering this particular table, you have two data. One is Y, another is X. So considering Y, you just click on that, and this probit value should be Y. And again, you click on X and put the data of log concentration. Okay, so in this way, I just enter this data in Y and X axis. After clicking OK, you will get another table, which is sheet one. As you can see, it was not there. So this is the sheet. So you get this thing after clicking on that. So I just copied. I have already I did this thing. So I have already, as you can see, uh, in this table data is extremely important one is this intercept the value is is observed that is minus 7.6467 and another value is x variable which is extremely important the value is 5.050 so going in my original slide as you can see this table which i have already copied from my sheet one so you can compare it this is sheet one which i have copied and i just paste it okay so as you can see, the value of this thing is intercept that is minus 7.61 and x variable is 5.05. Now, just type another formula, which is y is equal to ax plus b. This formula is important. So you just type this formula, y is equal to ax plus b, where you have to put some data. So the y value is always 5. Next is you have to put the data of A. So in here we can get the data of A that is 5.05 is A. So I just write the 5.05 and the place of B I just put the data that is intercept that is minus 7.64. Now from this particular area we will easily calculate value of X. Now LC is equal to anti log X. So I'm putting this data that is log 50 anti log 2. Zero, and we can easily calculate from here that LC is 3.16.22 microgram per ml. So after 24 hours for my sample A, the LC value is 316.22 microgram per ml. So in this way, I have calculated so, uh, another experiment uh, in the same experiment. After 48 hours, the value was value is two. 288.40. After 72 hours, the value is 239.8 microgram per ml. After 96 hours, the value is 223. After 120 hours, the value is 190. And so in this way, finally, I can show you my data is LCVP value at different time intervals. This 
after 24 hours, 48 hours, 72 hours, and 96 hours, and 120 hours, it is gradually declining. So, in this way, we can easily calculate so, uh, the LCV p value as per the OECD 2009 guideline. So, I think, friends, uh, this uh, slide or my this video will be helpful for calculating your own experiment. And thank you uh, for watching uh, this video.